to complete a man's outfit, you have to have a mm, cigar. But not a lot of men know how to use cigars, how to smoke cigars. What is so special about these cigars? Mm -hmm. So these are basically an assortment of uh, Cuban cigars, different brands uh, from Cuba. And what's really special about um, Cuban tobacco is that it's the best in the world. And we have different, some of the most famous brands here. We have uh, Partigas here. This is a Lusitania, very substantial cigar. It'll take over an hour to, to smoke. Uh, then we have the uh, Cohiba uh, Robusto. And then you have uh, Ramon Alones, uh, also a Robusto. And this is a Romeo y Julieta. It's a, it's a milder cigar. And um, So this is going to be mine. That's, your, that's, that's <laughs> yours. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And um, how can one choose which cigar fits to him? I think if you're just for beginners, I would really recommend a Corona size or Petit Corona. Um, uh, it also really depends on what time of day it is. So you would never smoke something like this um, in the morning or at lunchtime. It'll really hit you very strong. Um, this is more. These are all more after dinner cigars, after a really good meal. So now we have whiskey here mm -hmm. and also cognac. Yeah. So which cigar fits to which whiskey? Rum and cognac have chosen my favorite cognac, Delamain. Rum goes really well, of course, it's, it's the, the, the typical drink with, with cigars, but it's becoming more popular now to also have whiskey. I've chosen um, three amazing uh, Scottish whiskies that are very typical of the different regions of Scotland. Can I can I smell? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Cool. yeah. Mm. That's yeah, it's a bit to, like to nose it. That gives you a good. Okay. Now you get this kind of sherry sweet okay. sweet taste. And this one here, it's uh, it's called a Talisker. It's from the Isle of Skye on the west west of Scotland, and that was Winston Churchill's uh, favorite whiskey. It's kind of like a peppery, almost kind of volcanic mm -hmm. kind of... Uh, Tastes not as sweet as the other one. No, it's, it's a yeah. little bit more peaty. Mm -hmm. And then the big daddy here, this is um, Art Bag. Now, with, with a cigar, um, you have to be careful with matching it with, with whiskies um, because you think, okay, a strong cigar would go really well with the smoky, strong whiskey, but that's actually not the case. Um, Okay, I really want to smoke a cigar now. Okay. How, how do you cut them? How do you light them? Show me everything. Okay. So I usually have a cutter, which is like a kind of guillotine mm -hmm. cutter. This is a more traditional one. But the most important thing is um, you have the cap, the cap here. Um, mm -hmm. And you want to cut just a little bit above that line, up there. That's okay, it. so that's just this yeah. my tiny little part. Okay. Just a little, little part. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the most important thing with then lighting the cigar is that you should never use a normal lighter, like a petrol lighter or matches, normal matches. Okay. So these are longer cedar uh, cigar matches. It's generally etiquette in Britain and, and in Europe to remove the band before you, before you smoke it. Why um, is that? Generally, it's just... just um, etiquette. Et etiquette, okay. and so you're not really showing off what kind of brand Okay. You're, you're smoking. Wow. <laughs> you just hold it at a little slight angle and what you want to do first is just get the slightly tarred. So you're turning it around and with a cigar you want to make sure that you, you have time mm -hmm. um, and that's really it's, it's, it's a very enjoyable and, and relaxing so you, you don't want to rush it. Then generally just um, Okay. Yeah. So how do I hold a cigar, by the way? Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Just like okay. that, and then you can turn it around now. Yeah, that's it. Mm. How's that? That one tastes good, actually. Pretty mild. Yeah. Not strong. I like it. And the, the main thing, of course, with um, is you never inhale because it's 100% tobacco. Mm -hmm. um, you always puff, and mm -hmm. because the tobacco is so strong, it goes through your taste in, into your mouth. And because it's so strong, it, that's how you get the taste and, and the nicotine it goes through your gums. Mm -hmm. Before that, let's let's try a try um, a whiskey. Okay, sure. Maybe just see see which one um, you'd, you'd like. So this is the cognac. Well, you said it's a mild cigar, so yeah. we need a strong whiskey, right? Yeah. Okay. Well then. So try. <laughs> let's try the the art bake. Okay. First. Yeah. And now, how do I taste the whiskey properly? So, um, first of all, you want to. Like approaching a beautiful woman, you just want to um, 
be very respectful and <laughs> just approach. Just nose. Okay. So you want to get the and it's it's part like with the wine. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Just a little sip. Yeah. And keep it in your mouth. So don't don't let it go. But savor it in your in your mouth. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, that's strong. You can add just um, a touch, a drop of water. Okay. You should never add ice or anything like that because. Um, you want to drink it warm, right? It'll kill the flavor. Oh, okay. Yeah, but a drop of water can bring out the flavors even more. So now that you've tasted by itself, you want basically you want to see how the cigar complements it and how it changes the taste. And so the game, the game I told you about was basically um, what Winston Churchill used to do with his daughter. They used to play this game where, you know, like a cigarette, you should never lick the mm -hmm. ash you should okay. let the ash just build up um normally mm -hmm. so james let's play this game because mm. i'm gonna win that <laughs> hey, you're way ahead of me